back with you on the Bronx Buzz, and we do thank Michael Benjamin, the New York Post. Kitty Rose from Natural Sessions is here. She is a Bronxnet so-called access producer, but she really uh, takes very seriously in the programs that she does. Nice to have you with us once again. Hey, Gary. Thank you for having me back. It's a treat mm -hmm. to have you. So let's just talk about Natural Sessions. After all, this is a natural session. Yes, I mean, it is. We're, I'm, I'm very, this is who <laughs> I am, who I am. You know, she is who she is. But tell me about Natural Sessions, what the philosophy is, how long you've been doing it, et cetera. Well, like you said, Natural Sessions is just this. It's a conversation that I have with another real person, sometimes a celebrity, <laughs> as, to fake as far as a fake person. Um, but we, we have candid, raw conversations that are not necessarily had, but outside of having the conversation, we provide the solution of what's next. So once you get that light bulb moment, what do you do? And my show kind of covers to how to move forward. How long have you been doing it? We are going into our third season. Oh, we're just finishing our third finishing season. Finishing the third yeah. season. Yeah. And we air now um, when, tw Thursdays, when? 12 a.m. Well, so wait. So it's really Wednesday <laughs> I night. I think so. Everybody, <laughs> so it's Wednesday at midnight. It's Wednesday at midnight. Um, you, we were just talking before, and you like the idea of shooting outside. Yes. And so tell me um, some of the places you've shot, and why do you like shooting outside? Well, I like shooting outside because, one, I just like to break up the monotony of, t of talk show television because all of the Oh, shows. hey, we love talk. <laughs> There's nothing monotonous about talk show television. No, Bronx Buzz, plug, plug. Yeah, and Bronx um, Talk. Yeah, there you go. but we just, you know, just to give uh, something visually pleasing to look at outside of the studio. And I also like going to people's location because since my show is an intimate show anyway, that people are sharing very intimate things about themselves, usually if you go into their space, they're a lot more comfortable. So I, I like getting them to bring their guards down and really tell their truth. You know, I didn't think about it till literally this moment, but we did. you did that with me. I did. They went to the playground that, that I grew, grew up, up in. in. <laughs> yes. In my neighborhood. And we did it. We, we, had I thought of it, we would have grabbed the clip and we could have shown uh, what that looked like. Next time. Um, next time, that's mm -hmm. fine. Um, any unusual places that you've shot or places that were most, ch I mean, a real park in the Bronx. Right, is a park. I mean, right. We love our Bronx parks, well, the, but go ahead. The challenging thing about outside, um, especially coming in the production world, is the audio, is the sound. No question. So the scenery may be beautiful, but you're dealing with the outside element. So that's been kind of challenging and difficult. But I want to say the the, the oddest or weirdest places really have been inside. Um, I try <laughs> I try to do the mini studio now, but I can't do that green screen. I, I, it oh, doesn't no, look no, no, the green screen. But you can't have a show. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to say it. You can't have a show called Natural Sessions and be, inside. And be on a green screen. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> There's nothing more unnatural than that. You know, every weathercaster is in front of a, exactly. you know, if, if anybody's ever seen it in the studio, they're just in front of a blank exactly. screen. Exactly. You know. How rude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why? Because you said something bad about talk shows? No, okay. because the phone just went off. Oh, right. it was the phone. I and it's funny because coming from production, I'm always the one that says before the set, everyone turn off their phones. Oh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear it. It's, it's perfectly fine. Okay. Let's talk about um, uh, the untitled yes. journey which uh, is what motivated you to say, hey, Gary, put me on the show. I want to show this thing. Yeah. Tell me what the untitled journey is. So I recently have embraced that I, too, am an artist. You know, we think because we're in production work that that's not some type of artistry, but it really takes an eye to tell a story behind the scenes or in front of the, uh, in front of the camera. So the untitled journey is my first Independent documentary, like short. The drug, do the drug. Yes, honey. My first film, 27 minutes of a story about a living artist where I followed her for a few days through what it's like being a living artist. She's a living artist. She's a teaching artist. Um, and people who... They see, they, what's that saying, that you get your flowers when you're dead? Most artists get their flowers when they're dead. I didn't dead. hear that, and I'm really unhappy to hear that. <laughs> well, there's a saying. <laughs> For <laughs> obvious reasons. There's a saying that artists or painters, they get their flowers or recognition when they're dead. I kind of wanted to show what that journey looks like before the she's in the right. ground. <laughs> before she actually <laughs> Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and all the beauty and challenges that, that come with that, which is really was my own story, but as the filmmaker, I told her story. Who, who is the artist? Her name uh, is uh, Harlem slash Bronx native Alethea Brown. Okay. Okay. Alethea Brown. <laughs> Alethea right. Brown. Very good. And so we're going to show a clip, and then yes. afterwards I have some 
follow-up thing cool. we're going to ask you about. So uh, this is the, now why untitled? Why don't we just give it a title? Because I couldn't think of one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll watch and then maybe we'll come up with right. a title. All right, here is a clip from a 27-minute yes. documentary that uh, will be shown on Natural Sessions. We're not sure. Well, Natural Sessions is its own show, but it will be shown It'll in be a bunch shown. of different screenings all throughout the United States this year. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Untitled Journey. My name is Catherine Warren Bishop, and I am the director, filmmaker of The Untitled Journey. I embraced what it is that I, I'm called to do, which is tell stories. I consider myself a griot, and um, I, I was set on this path to tell the world about the life of a living artist. Untitled Journey. I poetically share the story of Alethea Brown, visionary. As I travel through days with her, filming her experiences on the other side of the life lane. Not, this isn't a glamour thing. This isn't a thing just because I think it's hot to do. This is who I am. That's like asking me why be a woman? Why be black? You know, I find it fascinating and frustrating when people ask that question. Why do I do what I do? I'm not doing what I do. I'm answering the call I was given. And I love the fact that my team is basically all women. The fact and that the my editor is a woman. I love the fact that my main subject is a woman. I love the fact that my camera person is a woman. I love the fact that my production team is women. So, the Untitled Journey. All right, it's your girl Kat from the Kitty Rose Lifestyle. There it is. Yay! Thank you. A, a Thank piece you. Piece of no. the uh, <laughs> Untitled Journey. One thing I just wanted to talk about, and you're, you're actually wearing yes. your BronxNet badge. You know the whole notion of BronxNet Television, and uh, you know because I mean uh, there Tell are it. Channel 67, and we have professional programs, but we have three full channels of access producers. Mm -hmm. You probably would use the word it's a blessing. It's really a wonderful thing that the people of the Bronx get to make their own programs on Bronx. So yes. why don't you address that and talk about that and, and where that is in relation to what we just saw. Exactly. Well, I mean, like you said, I would refer to it as a blessing. I knew you would. <laughs> Um, but it is, you know, it is. I mean, you know, one, you get the training to learn how to tell stories, and then you get the access to equipment and locations to tell your story. And then you get the opportunity to branch out and do more different other things with this medium, like become a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. You know, who knew but the divine that this was going to be my journey, which is probably another reason why I call it the untitled journey, because the, the journey we on has so many different layers. And I think rather than um, avoid them because we don't understand what's happening or, or it might not go align with what we thought we were doing, why not just embrace it and follow the journey or follow the path of the journey that the divine has us on, which is what, you know, me taking advantage of becoming a BronxNet producer allowed me to do because st starting television allowed me to become a filmmaker. You know, as, as you know, I've been in journalism and TV and radio also for a very long time. And, and um, uh, this, despite that, I am well aware that there are stories to be told mm -hmm. in this incredibly large and diverse borough mm -hmm. of 1.4 million people mm -hmm. that we, in, uh, professionals in the business, don't get a chance to tell. Right. And having people like you and others tell their own story right. is really a, a really important thing. And it allows us, maybe nobody ever would have looked at Alicia Brown and looked at her great work, et cetera, et cetera. Right. To me, I, I, I just think, and it's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm on this mm -hmm. station, it's just so important. And it feels good to be in the street and have people come up to you and tell you that they, they see you on the TV. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know, I feel like I'm a lightweight little, you know, celebrity here in the Bronx, right. you know? Well, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, the tools that I learned at BronxNet allowed me to grow as an artist, allowed me to grow as a producer where I was able to develop other concepts or go to other streaming platforms. How, how do you choose what you want to put on the program? 
Or is it, I just said, you know, there's 1.4 million stories in the naked right. city or in the naked borough. But how do you select and say, ah, this is something I want to do? Well, um, I have a lot of people who reach out to me that want to come on the show. Um, and then I have a huge network because of my 20 plus years in my previous industry of relationships that I've developed. So it's a combination of people I know and people who call to come on. And I don't, I never have a topic. I never have a subject. What I do is I just talk. You have I just talk. And then in editing comes the theme of the show. Of what in you? editing, the light bulb moment comes on. I'm like, ah, that's what the show is about. Right. So in editing is where I develop what the show is going to be about and what the theme is. But I let people know that when they come on, that it's going to be a free-for-all. Like, I'm, I'm just going to talk and I'm going to be in your business. We're almost <laughs> out of time. Who's next or what's next? On, I mean, obviously, the Untitled Journey, you're going to go right. you're going to move that around. Yes. But uh, who's next and what's next? Um, well, I start the fourth season of Natural Sessions, so I start shooting that at the end of March. But I'm excited right now about the Untitled Journey. Right now, this month, it's on See Me Channel and I mean See Me TV and the On Channel for Black History Month and Women's Month. So that's my big and thing right now. And if people want more information about you or the Untitled yes. Journey, how do they do that? Find me on Instagram. No, <laughs> find me on Instagram at Ms. MZ Kitty Rose. YouTube, all those things, or catch me Wednesdays, Wednesdays. 12 a.m. Right. at BronxNet, baby. I would say stay up late, but people yeah. will be interested. They in repeat the show. me on Thursdays. They're, I just don't know what time. No, no, mm. it's fine. Listen, uh, Kitty Rose, good luck. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Great. Thanks for yes. coming by, showing your stuff. We hope you're going to come back and keep uh, promoting um, good things and good people in the Bronx. Yes, indeed. All right. Guess what happens now? Nothing. We say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that is uh, all for our program. Uh, we will see you Monday night. Bronx Talk, we're going to have two Bronx elected officials, state officials, so we're going to get into what's been going on in the state legislature. Uh, Gustavo Rivera, Senator, and Victor Pichardo, an assembly member, will join us on Bronx Talk Monday night. Good night.